Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how Rockstar has removed the only way to play a Grand Theft Auto game natively on macOS and how there's only a few more days or possibly hours until there's nothing left you can do about it. So if you didn't already know, Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the Definitive Edition has just been announced. This is going to be a remaster of the game's Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and also San Andreas 2. Rumours say that this entire remaster trilogy will run on Unreal Engine 4 and will feature across the board upgrades with graphical improvements and modern gameplay enhancements. What's notable is that there is lack of any mention of a macOS release of this game. This is despite the fact that all three games were originally released as macOS ports. They were wrapped using a compatibility layer called Cider which is based on Wine. And because these were 32-bit ports, they were never updated to 64-bit and therefore they are not compatible with the M1 Apple Silicon Mac or any macOS past Catalina. In steps RE3, which is the name of a reverse engineering project for Grand Theft Auto 3. And this is an open source recreation of the Grand Theft Auto 3 engine, which does not contain any of the game assets. But if you pair this open source engine with Grand Theft Auto 3 downloaded from say Steam, then you're able to run the entire game on modern operating systems and also play with different kinds of mods. And most importantly, you can play this on the 64-bit macOS operating system. However, you may have heard that this GitHub project was taken down by Take-Two using the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, otherwise known as the DMCA. This is because Take-Two is claiming that the RE3 project is maliciously copying, adapting, and distributing its source code and other content. Um, they are making the defendants liable for $150,000 in damage for each infringed work. The long story short is that if you try to visit this GitHub her page for this project, then you'll be met with this DMCA takedown notice. This means that it's no longer possible to legitimately download the RE3 project or its fork REVC, which makes Grand Theft Auto Vice City playable on modern operating systems too. Not only this, but if we look at the latest update for the Rockstar support website, we'll also see an announcement which was made at the same time as the announcement for the remaster, which is that Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas will be no longer available for purchase. This is because they're going to be directly replaced by the Definitive Edition remaster of the games. If you did purchase one of these games on a platform, for example Steam, then you'll still be able to download them in the future. However, if you're a new player and you want to play Grand Theft Auto 3 as a new buyer, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to buy that original version. And this is quite crucial because this is going to be the version that's compatible with the open source engine RE3 and this version of the game is going to be removed from all digital storefronts, including console and PC digital retailers from the week of October the 11th, 2021. So basically from the coming week at the time of recording. So it's very likely going to be removed very, very soon. So if you're interested in playing Grand Theft Auto 3 on a M1 Apple Silicon Mac or any modern Intel Mac using Mac OS Catalina or onwards, and you want to use a legitimate version of the game, then you have a very small window in order to make sure that you have a copy of Grand Theft Auto 3 or Grand Theft Auto Vice City purchase. Despite the fact that RE3 has been DMCA'd from its GitHub page, lots of people have distributed the source code on other mirrored platforms, for example, archive.org. If you are interested in finding a copy of RE3 and getting it to work on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then I have a tutorial which you can follow in the description. I actually think it's great that Rockstar are releasing a remaster of these three games because they do deserve some quality of life enhancements and also some graphical upgrades too. However, I do think that it's a shame that we don't have a macOS version and also the version that's going to be delivered for the desktop computer is going to be a Rockstar Games launcher version. If you've watched my videos of the past, you'll typically know that the Rockstar DRM, like the Rockstar Social Club, will prevent compatibility layers like Crossover from functioning. And because Crossover doesn't have the overhead of running a virtual machine like Parallels, which is on the left-hand side of the screen. Crossover typically performs much better, and even games like Grand Theft Auto V can run close to 60 frames per second. However, the caveat for this is that Crossover is not compatible with the Rockstar Social Club, and therefore the only way to get Grand Theft Auto V to run on Crossover is to completely strip out the DRM. And therefore, it's not possible to legitimately use a Steam version or an Epic Games Store version of the game, because they both rely on the Rockstar Social Club, and therefore you have to use a cracked torrented version of the game. 
And it's a shame that these remasters of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas are going to be using the Rockstar Games launcher because it's very likely we're going to have the same type of Rockstar Social Club DRM which will prevent the higher performance crossover from being able to be run on platforms like the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So anyway, it's a real shame that Rockstar and Take-Two are taking such drastic steps to remove the original versions of their games, especially when they can be run on platforms like the M1 Apple Silicon Mac perfectly well using these fan-made projects and Take-Two and Rockstar have just gone out of their way to make sure that this is no longer possible. And also what they've replaced their original games with is going to be something that's going to be less compatible overall with the Mac operating system and I just think that's a real shame. I also think it's pretty terrible how they are treating the developers of the RE3 project, especially because this open source engine is pretty benign in what it can do. RE3 opened up some really interesting gameplay possibilities. For example, other enthusiasts have ported the game to the PlayStation Vita, which is a platform the game was never available on. And people were even getting the game to work on PowerPC Max 2. It's a real shame that RE3 can't be developed any further because it would have been very possible to get a native ARM port of this game eventually running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And this is because an M1 native ARM port was always going to be a possibility, but now we're never going to know because Take-Two and Rockstar have gone down this litigation route and have squished this open source project with threats of massive legal copyright claims. Technically, on the Mac App Store, it's actually possible to download the mobile versions of games like GTA 3. If you do a search for Grand Theft Auto 3 and then press the iPhone iPad tab, then you actually find that this mobile version is still available. This one won't have keyboard and mouse support, it's actually the mobile port. However, if you attach a controller, then you'll be able to play the game normally. The main caveat is that this is going to be a mobile version of the game with the 4x3 iPad aspect ratio. Rockstar have opted into the App Store to allow their games like Grand Theft Auto 3 to be listed on the Mac App Store to be downloaded as a mobile port. However, it is very possible that Rockstar will not allow the GTA remasters to opt into the Mac App Store, so this may not be a possibility in the future. This is why it's important to have these classic games available as digital versions because they can be modified and adapted by fans and they are not subject to the whims of what the publishers decide to replace it with or drop compatibility for in the future. If we had Grand Theft Auto 3 available online digitally forever, then it's more likely that it could be made compatible by fans for platforms like the M1 Mac or the platforms that may come in the future. Anyway, if you're interested in game compatibility for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please check out my M1 Compatible Games Master List, which features hundreds of games and the various different methods that you can use to run the actual games themselves. I also have tutorials for games like Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 4 running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Please check out the description for links to these tutorials. Anyway, please leave a comment about what you think about this situation. Is it fair? Do you think it matters that an old game like this gets preserved in its original form? And whether you think that these fan projects deserve to exist? And please leave a comment if you intend to buy any of the Grand Theft Auto original titles which are about to be replaced by the remaster. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.